East Island Chemicals is a hazardous waste storage area and three of its employees are loading the waste containers into trucks. They make a careless mistake and accidentally spill one of the container's contents onto the road. They get anxious and one of them suggests they inform the supervisor, but fearing for their jobs, they decide to just seal the container again, ignoring the spillage, and load it back on the truck and be on their way. A stray dog finds the spilt waste on the road and before it is chased away by the guards, it takes a lick. In the evening, after a hard day's work, one of the guards is returning home but he meets the stray dog, now a mutated zombie, not afraid of him. It attacks him and bites him on his shoulder. When he reaches home, his mother-in-law is quite angry and worried, because he does not take the bite seriously, despite it showing some nasty signs on his body. As he eats, he transforms into a zombie with only the urge to eat. He attacks his mother-in-law and bites her neck. His wife manages to throw him away from her and lock him in a room, where he thrashes about wildly. She is confused and tries to call anyone who can help on her phone, but before she makes the call, she is also attacked by her now-turned zombie mother. She is bitten on the neck and flees outside. She bumps into some shady men who have run to check on her. She mutates into a zombie and bites all of them and turning them into zombies too. It is the beginning of the zombie outbreak in the province. Medically trained doctors are graduating from a medical college and new traffic police recruits are being sworn in at the police station at the same time. Karthik and his friend Chinnamalai are eating snacks while watching the new officers get sworn in. One of the young officers' fathers approaches Karthik and Chinnamalai and asks them to take care of his son, who has now just joined the force. Dr. Renuka is on her brother's motorbike and they're on their way to the hospital. They are stopped by the officers, Karthik and Chinnamalai, who checks her brother's license and see that his documents are not in order. They let them go, but not before getting a bribe of $20. Ranuka is angry at the two officers, but they just laugh at the siblings. The new officer asks Chinnamalai why Karthik, despite being the number one police officer in the academy, chooses to stay a traffic officer. Karthik interrupts by saying it has less risk, while Chinnamalai informs the officer that it is because of his young sister, and that Karthik does not want to separate from her. During the course of their work as traffic officers, they hold off a crowd that struggles to greet the incoming minister. But one of the held-up cars in traffic is carrying an expectant woman who is in labor. Despite being warned by Karthi, the young officer rushes to let the woman's held-up taxi go, drawing the ire of the minister and his followers. The young officer is attacked by one of the minister's men, but is saved by Karthi, who punches both men unconscious. After the act, he is angry at the officer and wonders how he will take care of his young sister if the minister gets him fired. Meanwhile, the minister is shown a YouTube video of Karthi fighting his men and is very angry. At home, Vidya, his young sister, is pressuring Karthi to get married. When he refuses any of her picks, she brings home a marriage broker the next day without his knowledge. Karthi agrees to all of the photos of the girls he is presented with and the broker is happy. The next day, the marriage broker returns to arrange a date with one of the girls, but Karthi refuses any offers. Everyone is shocked and doesn't understand why he changed his mind so suddenly. Vidya asks Chinnamalai why her brother refused the marriage offers. He swears he doesn't understand either. That night while on duty, they meet Dr. Renuka and his fiancée, Dr. Naveen. Naveen is driving drunk and Karthi charges him to pay a fine. Naveen does not want to do that and they start arguing with the officer. Renuka pays the fine, ending the argument and they drive away. After that, Karthi confesses to having fallen in love with Dr. Renuka and it's why he can't accept any other proposals. He confides that he had once saved her brother when he was involved in an accident and brought him to the hospital together with Renuka. The next day, Chinnamalai immediately informs Vidya about Renuka and she demands an explanation from Karthi. They corner him and get him to show the photo they took of Renuka and her brother. That night, the mutated zombies spread throughout the town, attacking civilian homes. The next morning, when Vidya wakes up to pick up the morning paper, she is abducted and Karthi begins a frantic search for her. He is attacked by a zombie and fights it off in fright, not understanding what is happening. He is attacked by another zombie that he mistakes for Vidya, but throws it into a garbage bin instead. He gets a call from Chenamalai to go to the station and he gets a motorbike that he drives there while fighting off zombies. 
A researcher is explaining to the officers about the zombies and orders the officers to shoot on sight any zombie that they meet, since there is no cure. An infected officer interrupts the meeting by turning into a zombie and he is shot on sight by the police boss. The young officer who had worked with Carthy is bitten and turns into a zombie too. The police boss shoots him dead to the horror of his watching father. He orders the officers to bar any movement from the town in a bid to prevent the virus from spreading. Carthy receives a call from people who supposedly kidnapped his sister to come to a certain place. He goes there and finds Renuka with a group of doctors working on a cure for the virus. Renuka decides to take them to where Vidya is being held in exchange. He would help the team of doctors evacuate the town. It turns out the minister is Renuka's father, and once they are led into the compound, they find the minister huddled up on top of a cabinet. He says his men have turned mutants and want to eat him. He points to the pool where Vidya has been held up by zombies at the pool. Karthi dispatches the zombies and saves his sister. Taking the minister, they get an ambulance and go back and save the doctors. The team, though, loses several doctors who get bitten by the zombies and have to be forsaken. They are allowed out of the town thanks to the minister's connections and well-known face. A member of the doctor's team has been bitten and Dr. Dorana, the lead researcher, throws him out of the ambulance. However, Dorana too notices he is bitten on his hand, but he keeps quiet about it. They reach the border, but it is overrun with zombies and there is chaos everywhere on the road, with everyone trying to get away. They get on top of a building in the hospital with Naveen working there is just a stone's throw away, but the entire ground floor is infested with zombies. There is a scare when Chana Malai thinks he is bitten on the leg, but it turns out he is fine and the bite didn't get through. They take the route in the basement parking lot and meet a deranged officer, shooting wildly, thinking he is scaring away teenagers. After managing to knock him out, they wake him up later and show him the horde of zombies outside. He is shocked and pees himself. Since the guard is not helping, they go around the shopping mall to get any ideas on getting out of the building at the suggestion of Dr. Duran. However, Dr. Duran transforms into a zombie, and Carthy has to fight him to save the sister he has in his grip. But Vidya is bitten by the bad doctor and is almost shot by the other team members. Fortunately, she does not transform and becomes the key to developing a cure. They get a firefighter truck and Carthy takes the initiative to spray the zombies with a water pipe, since the zombies are averse to water, while making way for each person to cross through the horde of zombies. Carthy guides each of the team members safely through the horde while spraying the horde with water, but he is unluckily bitten. He struggles to deliver Renuka safely as per his vow, before sacrificing himself to the horde. On the other side, the team successfully develops a cure, but Renuka weeps sadly when she finds a picture of her and the officer in his wallet, realizing that Carthy had loved her deeply since they first met, and she regrets that she had never been loved like that before. The film ends with a zombie Carthy prowling the roads to the nearby town. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to our channel. I'll be back with another interesting movie recap. Until then, take care.